Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are starting on page 267 and we are looking at mixed numbers and improper fractions. So yesterday we looked at improper fractions and how to turn improper fractions into mixed numbers. Today we're going to look at how to turn a mixed number into an improper fraction. So for example, here it says I have two and two-fifths pieces of paper. Here you can see it. He's got two whole pieces of paper that are divided into fifths, and he has two, uh, two extra parts over here. What is another way to say the number of pieces of paper Ang has? Right? So here you can see two holes, and two fifths, but here you see that they're divided into fifths. Right? <clears throat> so what we can do here is we can say we can break this into two and two fifths. Now we're going to take it and break up this piece right here into fifths and this into fifths. So how many fifths do we now have just in our holes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we have ten fifths plus the two fifths that we already had. Now ten plus two is twelve, and the denominator stays the same. Right? So there are 12 fifths and 2 and 2 fifths. So Aang has 12 pieces of paper, right? If we think of those pieces of paper being broke into all the different parts, right? So a mixed number can be expressed as an improper fraction. So remember, an improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator is equal to or greater than the denominator, meaning it's equal to one or more than one. All right, let's look at page 268. All right, so here it says express each mixed number as an improper fraction. So here we have three and a half, all right? So I'm gonna divide this into the three and the half. Now three halves is equal to how much? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six halves plus the one half that I already had. Six plus one is seven, and the denominator stays the same. All right, so next one, I have four and two thirds. Let's divide that up, so put the four by itself, the two thirds by itself. Now how many parts does the four have? So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Right, so then <clears throat> put the two thirds that we already had, and so we have 12 plus 2 is 14, and the denominator stays the same. All right, now let's look at a quicker way to, to do this, all right, using the same method that they want. So when I have three, one, two, three holes, and I want to divide them in halves. A way I can get this numerator without having to count is to take the whole number times the denominator. We'll equal the new numerator. Okay, so whole number times the denominator equals the new numerator. So here, what was the whole number? The whole number was three times the denominator, two equals six. And that six is what we see right there, okay? So let's try that down here on this next one, on this uh, the one we already did here, okay? So whole number, four, times the denominator, three, equals the new numerator. Four times three is 12, right? And that's what we got right there. All right, so that's a little bit of a little bit of a formula to help you. All right, that'll give you what the whole number equaled, and then you just add that to the uh, existing um, fraction that we already had. All right, over here, let's look at this number line. <clears throat> so we have one and one fourth. So we're going to add turn one into four fourths plus this one fourth. 
equals five fourths. All right, so here's two, right? So that would be four fourths plus four fourths would equal eight fourths. Now I know two equals eight fourths, so to figure this one out, I could do eight fourths plus one plus one fourth. Eight plus one is nine, and the denominator stays the same. So nine fourths. Again, I know that two fourths is equal to eight fourths. Eight fourths plus three fourths. Eight plus three equals eleven, and the denominator stays the same. So 11 fourths. Now I have 3, all right? So that's going to be 4 fourths plus 4 fourths plus 4 fourths. 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12, and the denominator stays the same, all right? So that's going to be 12 fourths. Now I need to do, to add, figure that one out, I need to do 12 fourths plus 1 fourth equals 13 fourths. Oops. 13 fourths. And here again, 3, so that's going to be 12 fourths plus 3 fourths. 12 plus 3 is 15, and the denominator stays the same. All right, so that's the one way to do it, all right? Understanding how many fourths there are in the whole. Another way to do it would have been just to use multiplication, all right? So here, multiply the whole number times the denominator, all right, would be, so you'd have four, four fourths plus the one fourth. Here, four times two is eight, so that means eight fourths plus, and then we'd add those in, and here, 3 times 4 is 12, and that's what we got over here when we did this addition. So that means 12 fourths plus 1 would be 13 fourths, 12 fourths plus 3 fourths would be 15 fourths, okay? All right, so color this in. So it wants us to color in 3 um, and 5, 6. This is a practice on your own, so you're going to go ahead and work through this independently. So you're going to do pages 269 and 270, all right? You'll do those on your own. And then when you're ready, come back, and we will work on those together. Try to do the think, um, but if you're struggling with that one, that's okay. Uh, we'll come back and look at it together, but see if you can figure it out on your own, all right? Okay, go ahead and pause the video and come back when you are ready. All right, so hopefully you have that finished. Let's look at these together, all right? So first, color in 3 and 5 sixths. So you could color in any of them that you wanted. You just need to have three that are completely colored in. And then one that has just five of them. All right, so we're going to break that up. Three in plus five, six. Now I need to turn this three into a fraction. So on this one, I have this model drawn, so I just count them. You know, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Or I can take whole number times the denominator equals the new numerator. Okay. So that would be 3 times 6 equals 18, right? So that one's 18. Then I add in the 5 6 18 plus 5 equals 23, and the denominator stays the same. All right, let's look at the next page. page 270. All right, so we're turning these into mixed numbers. All right, so I'm going to use the multiplication way to see if that makes it a little bit faster for me. So 2 times 8 equals 16 eighths plus 3 will equal 19 eighths. All right, now this one's just, now that I know this one, this one's just two more. One, two, I'm going to add two eight, add two eights to that, and it's going to become 21 eights. All right, now three. 
Okay, so I'm going to turn that 3 into a fraction. 3 times 8 is 24 eighths plus, uh, and there are no pluses, uh, plus, yep, so this is 1 over, so 1 eighth equals 25 eighths. All right, now this one we've already found what it is. 3 is equal to 24, so this is 24 eighths plus 5 eighths, which equals 29 eighths. And a 4, so I'm going to do 4 times 8 is 32 eighths. All right. Okay, same thing here. So turn the following into improper fractions. So here I need to turn this into um, a fraction. So I'm going to have um, 3 times 5 is 15. 15 fifths plus 4 fifths equals 19 fifths. This one, 6 times 8 is 48 eighths plus 5 eighths equals 53 eighths. 4 times 12 is 48 twelfths plus 11 twelfths equals 59 twelfths. And this one, <clears throat> I'm supposed to turn into an improper fraction. When I have a whole number that I want to turn into an improper fraction, I just put it over 1. Okay? So this means I have 7 once. If I have 7 once, that means I have 7, um, seven holes. Right? So whenever we have a whole number, we want to turn it into an improper fraction, we just put a 1 underneath it. Right? Okay, now let's look at the think. Samuel expressed 3 and 2 fifths as an improper fraction. Do you agree with how he found the answer? Explain your thinking. Use the bars to show your work. All right? So, this is how he expressed it. So, let's see here. So, he did 3 times 5 is 15. 5 plus 2 equals 17. And he got 17 fifths. All right? So, we have 3 bars, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then two fifths, right? So these are all fifths. We can draw this out here. These are the ones he has, these are not, okay? So I'll shade those in to show that they're different. All right, so how many does he have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. He has 17 fifths. So does he have the right answer? He does. Why does he have the right answer? Well, because he figured out the numerator here, all right, 3 times 5 is 15, so that's figuring out the numerator, just like we were doing up here. And then he just added the old numerator right here, and he got the new numerator for the whole problem, okay? So that's why he got the right answer. And in the next lesson, we're gonna look at how to solve these problems just using, uh, just using some, some math, okay? Using a formula. All right, well, that's the end of today's lesson. I hope you have a terrific day, and I look forward to seeing you next time.